Thank you for telling me about your dad. You're welcome. <laughs> In my opinion, camping is the best way to start out the summer. It lets you know how it's like living in the outdoors. So to celebrate the start of camping season, Go RV in Canada put on an unforgettable event, all for a good cause. There's nothing better than taking it easy, sitting by the campfire, away from it all. It's an idyllic scene and one that's gonna glow a little brighter. See, June 13th and 14th was the first annual National RV Weekend. Put on by Go RV in Canada, it's a way to jumpstart the season. The RV Weekend is what they've, they've started this year. It's trying to promote, before the season gets really busy, before kids are out of school, everyone getting the opportunity to go out and do some camping. But there's more because the weekend provided a creative way to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation by filling up the sky with lanterns. Push up. You know, I, I'm very excited. It's very cool. This is the first annual National RV Weekend. Um, I think it's going to be a great send-off. I know the people in the park are really excited about it. The initiative worked too because campers at Bridal Falls Camperland RV Resort and across the country were able to raise $20,000. It's very important to us. We, um, you know, our mission is to grant wishes to children who are facing life-threatening medical conditions. So um, every dollar will go towards fulfilling their wishes. My cousin actually contracted a, a terminal illness. She, she got cancer a long time ago and actually succumbed to her illness, but she was able to utilize the Make-A-Wish Foundation. What'd she do? She, I believe she went to a concert and met the Backstreet Boys. I could be wrong on that. It was, it was one of those bands. On fire. <laughs> Sending the lanterns off into the sky was a memorable way to start the season because not only did it help brighten up the night sky, it also helped grant wishes to those who are sick too. One, two, three. At Bridal Falls, I'm Jonathan Horst for Go on Shaw TV.